How many of you are afraid of attracting terrible thoughts, things that you you really, really want, and you're just really, really afraid of attracting the opposite? Maybe you already started to attract what you want, and now that you realize how powerful your thoughts are, you realize, oh no, now I don't want to mess it up now. Now that I've started to attract the thing I want, now that I see it coming, now that there's evidence of it, what if it gets all messed up? What if? What if? Uh, the opposite happens. What if now from my point of worrying, what maybe my point of attraction is just so strongly aligned with things I don't want? What do I do? Because I can't stop worrying now. I can panic because every time I have a bad thought, it freaks me out. So this is this is very common and everyone goes through this who understands the law of attraction. It, it's part of everyone's journey. And you know there's only one thing I can say. It's it's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Um, you're gonna panic. You're gonna worry, and that's fine. That's fine. These are huge, huge things, changes that we are making in your life. You know, you're going from one um, taught way of life, a way of thinking, and then you're going in complete opposite direction. So you're gonna have constant like tennis game in your in your mind. It's gonna go back and forth. You're gonna have moments where you feel really at ease and at peace. And then there are going to be moments where you're panicked, and it's it, it's such contrasting emotions, and, and on the same subject too. Um, so it, it might be a little unsettling. It might feel unsettling because you you feel like, oh, I felt really good about this, you know, a moment ago or yesterday. Why am I so worried today? And no, no, I can't be worried because now I'm going to attract the opposite. It doesn't happen that quickly. Your vibration is pretty much um, what you attract is like pretty much like in any moment, like the average of of. of Things you felt in the recent uh, days or moments, or so it's not just about like a, a certain amount, of th a certain thought you're having, or a certain way you're thinking. Um, if you're th if you're really afraid of, of uh, bad thoughts you're having, then just understand that it's not going to happen that fast. Even if for days you're just worried, 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 and thinking about bad things and worried they're going to manifest, then. Worrying about worrying is not going to help you. That's my point. Um, just let yourself worry. Let yourself worry, you know? That's what this world's about. You know, it's contrast. There's contrast in this world. And that contrast is there so we understand what we want and what we don't, from what we don't want. So if you feel like you have this impulse to worry, then let yourself do it. Because the longer you let something move you, the longer it's going to persist in your life. So what you resist persists, right? Persists, right? And resisting is basically... Um, moving because when you resist something something inside of you is is moved by it and wants to push it away so so long as you let those feelings come and pass through you they will pass through you and um, you can go back to feeling good and and eventually that tennis match will eventually will tend to lean more towards the side of what you want and that is what will start appearing more in your life thanks